Vinny Catavella. That's me, Alex Navarro. How are you? I'm better now that I realize we can totally do this co-op over Parsec. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we're here in Spirit Fairer. I played yes. a decent amount of this. You played a decent amount of this too. I think I'm a little bit further ahead than you are. You but are. I've played. I've been playing this co-op uh, with my daughter because she loves being the cat. That uh, is. I I actually legit did not know there was co-op <laughs> until you told me today there was co-op. Yeah, so there's local co-op. So check the. All right, before we do anything, you yes. gotta watch this though. Already watch. Okay. I can I can go in here, and I can just. <laughs> I can just take care of your crops for you. Where did you uh, get that? You, I mean, I guess you have the magic orb too, but where did I you get that? I have the magic orb. I have the magic orb. Uh, uh, I can do pretty much everything you can do except talk, okay. which makes sense. Uh, Alex, one more request before we get started. Get o get over here. Give me a hug. How do I hug the cat? I forget what the come over. Come over here, and you gotta light. You gotta come over here. We'll do it so it's a nice clean view, and put de push down an X. And give me a... Oh, uh, yeah. The Alex, hug, what are we doing here? The hug is one of the best parts of this game. This is Spiritfarer. It is a $30 game that is out, uh, I believe, on Xbox. Uh, it is out on PC. I think it's on PS4. And I don't know about Switch. I'm going to be honest with uh, you. Sw Switch, it is, uh, I think it is out or coming to. Okay. Uh, this is a game, the premise is that you are taking over as the fairy person of the dead. Your job right. is to uh, take this big old boat here in the spirit realm uh, and go around and collect people's souls. And ostensibly, you're supposed to be bringing them, I think, towards some kind of final resting. <laughs> but so far, everyone that I've collected in this game has not left my boat. They don't want to leave. <laughs> yeah. So but yeah, you're basically have taken over for Karen or Sharon, if you want to, if you if you so want, uh, the ferryman of the dead, literally taking over for for them. Uh, as they, it looks like they have retired or got something else to do. Yeah, and their time yeah, was I, up. Uh, I think the short of this, and I'll mention here because this is, it's also on Game Pass. Uh, we, we should mention, so that's that's neat. You should try it if you're interested. Yeah, there. Uh, I'll say the shorthand. I think for this one, and this might even be selling it a little short, or it's not exactly there. It's a bit of it's a bit of a Harvest Moonish kind of yes. game. Like you're. You're, you're getting people on your boat, but you also have to feed them. And oh, look at yeah! Why don't you show us off? Show us off! Uh, show off your boat because you built part on your boat. You yeah. Built so all this, like all these rooms and things, other than my cabin, which is off to the left there, uh, were not here originally. I had to build these things, and I had to do that by gathering resources. These folks right here are a couple of the spirits I have collected. Um, I'm not entirely sure if they're actually family members or if there's just some sort of weird thing here where they keep referring to me as family, even though I'm not. But uh, this frogman keeps calling me, calling himself this, my uncle, which, okay. Yes. Um, and so I found them around the world, and they've come and joined me on my journey. There's a field down there. You can see where I'm planting some corn, some coffee beans, some linen. This is my uh, my garden for vegetables, and I have a couple of mystery things here that I don't know what they're going to turn into. Um, and I just got to water those things from time to time. Alex, um, these veggies are ready. I'm pulling them up. Pull them up. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Give me them carrots. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's my kitchen, where if I go in here, I just pick uh, any of the things that I currently have. We'll just make some popcorn real quick. Okay. Uh, and as soon as that timer's up, by the way, some of these timers go much, much longer. Uh yes that I've got prepared food. I got I got me some popcorn. Uh, good thing to know if you're if you're going to cook also I didn't I didn't realize this until uh, a little bit in you can just stack some stuff to yes, make sure up, you I make, think up to up, a yeah. certain amount but yeah you can, yeah you can definitely stack a bunch of them. Uh, some recipes I think actually require multiple of the same ingredients yes. so um, you get an upgraded kitchen for that. Uh, so this is my loom where I mm -hmm. uh, I take uh, cloths that I have here and I loom them in this little mini game. Just by making sure I hit it at the right time there on the uh, on the old loom, <laughs> and there we go. Now I've got some uh, some of that good linen thread, and this is uh, this is the cabin I bought for uh, what's her name, uh, Gwen. <laughs> uh, Gwen, who is sleeping. Who I th might literally be your sister or again a, a family member. It's a good point you bring up. I kind of assumed it was literal, but it's a good point you bring up about maybe it's just kind of figurative in the. Uh, it's it's hard to tell sense. exactly yeah. what the connections are there, but nonetheless, uh, it is a very pleasant game. Uh, you can fish. It is one of the f easiest fishing mini games I have maybe ever engaged in. You just it wait gets harder. It, okay. It gets yeah. So like it gets harder where the the rod turns red, and I I don't know if I need an upgrade or something later on, but uh, yeah, there you go. 
where you had kind of... I couldn't reel some in. Interesting. I haven't had anything that I couldn't reel in yet. It's more just that, like, sometimes it turns red, so you just need to be more careful. Yeah, it's, there was one that must have taken at least 45 seconds, and then finally I was just like, I must be doing this wrong, and gave up. Um, Here's my guy. Yeah, so these people that you bring on board your ship, um, they're not random. They are they are clearly people who are set pieces, or, or you know, you're supposed to bring on. Uh, and you can go look at their traits. They, they all have a certain favorite food. They have a um, thing that makes them happy. But they also will do odd jobs depending on their mood. Yes. So um, uh, as you kind of, ah, got to feed them. Got to keep them happy. Food makes them happy. Let's see what she's I she's vegan. Who tried this? Uh, tried this grilled veggie. Mm, she's oh, they liked it. So check her. Go and check her stats. Oh, a hug. Uh, so you can see that um, she's not super happy, but it'll tell you what what's going on in her world. Like she was recently hugged. It's going to bring her up a bit. Eventually, you'll find her favorite food, her likes and dislikes. Uh, why don't you come talk to your uncle here? Maybe he's got some stuff. As you can see, there was nothing to the right of her portrait when you checked it. But yeah. If you check him, if he's a little happier, you can see the ma the mood perk. These are things they will do once they reach certain levels of happiness. Right. And I, in my game, it's not like the dude's up there uh, making planks all day. <laughs> he, mm -hmm. like, Actually, like, that's a good point. I need to build him his uh, sawmill, so I'm going to do that right now. So here's the blueprint okay. area where you can do that. Um, I have the resources necessary to do it, so let's build that sawmill. Yes. Uh, one of the things that's really interesting and very uh, limiting a, a gate on this game is you will run out of room very quickly. Yes. So uh, you have to once upgrade you have, your boat to do to get bigger. Yeah, boat size. And there we go. Oh, he's happy now. <laughs> he's I built psyched. him a sawmill. So there are also a, like your character gets upgrades from time to time. There's a, a place, at least one island that I've been to, where you can just go there and turn in some stuff, and you will get an upgrade. Like so, the double jump was my first upgrade, and that's the only one I've used so far. Yeah, the uh, you don't upgrade at the same place. You have to find another island with another upgrade spot. But like that upgrade spot is spent. I got wood. All right, good luck. I found this one to be a little tough to. What do I with. do? Uh, he's gonna teach you how to do it. Did I do a bad job? I'm doing it all wrong. Yeah, I probably <laughs> am. What do I do? Oh, okay. Measure twice and cut. I feel like I've heard this before. <laughs> so, uh, the dialogue in here I think is pretty good. It's yeah. a little so it, it's um here, do you want to try like doing it and let's see what I see what I need to do here? Oh, I have done this a bunch here. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll, sh I'll do one just because uh I've actually found this a little tough to do. Oh, you're following a line. I see what it yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Um there you go. Okay, let me try would, one. Would you look at that? The cat did it. That wasn't bad. No, and like when you're on, when you stack like five or six or seven, I think you can stack even more than that up. You kind of get it after a yeah. while. I can't tell if oak is easier than maple to saw, which would make sense on grain direction, but I can't. I don't know if I'm just uh, projecting that onto this game. So the thing I wanted to say about the dialogue is it's like it's like a bit heavy. There, there's some there's some heavy stuff. There's some really interesting stuff. It has the look of a very much like a, a kind of light kids game. But I, uh, if you're playing with your kids, get ready for some sauce. There's a, there's a little bit of swearing in there, some. Um, some cuss words you'll run across, and some themes that, uh, while not necessarily inappropriate, might kind of go over their head. Like, I was playing with my daughter, and, you know... Yeah, I mean, uh, this game's concepts of, like, life and death feel not frivolous, but, like, definitely, like, a little bit lightweight. But yeah. I also feel like that could change... Okay. Uh, she doesn't want that. Let's see what else we got. What's something I haven't tried? She here? loves coffee, if you, ha if you haven't uh, given her coffee. That. I just okay. tried that. I just tried to give her that. And she uh, loves uh, popcorn as well, apparently. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they will not eat the same food twice. Ah, oh, I love her surprise, and then mm -hmm. she. You think eventually she, she would start to realize I'm gonna do that? But <laughs> all right. I, I I can also hug people. Oh. Uh, you, you can't you can't double hug if they have a a hug already. So yeah, people are working through stuff here. That's a big part of this game. And I think we might so, be about to work through some stuff now. So this is the map of the world that and what I've I've uncovered so far. Um. So these little spots on the map, these are just like resource areas. Like you'll find some crates in the in the water and you can just pull shit out of there. Um, there are missions that will pop up on some of these islands. Uh, this is the shipyard where I've upgraded my boat. I've only done one size upgrade so far, but I, I know there are more. That's a quartz dragon who, uh, well, there's a whole thing with that, but we'll, we'll check that out in a bit. For now, I think we're gonna go do this mission for uh, yeah. Gwen. So a lot of these things, maybe not the crate thing, but a lot of the little spots on the map for resources are kind of mini-game based. Yeah. And uh, he does get hungry. Okay. Sorry, if my jumping around is too distracting. No, not at all. So the nice thing about co-op is, while you're doing all that stuff, I could do anything. I could go loom some uh, thread or, or yeah. make weave. I could take care of your crops. It's it's very um, uh, uh, very nice because there is some stuff to take care of. I'm, I'm very go. I'm very fond of this boat setup. Like I like the whole <laughs> just running around doing stuff on here. Like the pace of it, you are managing stuff. There is a certain amount of plate spinning in this game, but it is not intense from what I found. Yeah. Like it is. The mini game challenges that pop up and other things that come around, like it's all pretty relatively easy to manage, I feel like. Yeah, so I, in my game, I reached a point where some of it. Uh, should we plant something else here? Do you mind if I plant? I need to plant uh, yeah, you plant something there, I'll plant something up here. Alright, I'm gonna plant flax. I don't even know if I. Oh, that's for the linen, right? Um, and I just planted some turnips. Uh, we got you got to water them. I, some stuff it feels like it could be tedious, but then they kind of mitigate some of it. Some of the resource stuff sometimes feels like, oh, I got to go get these planks. Mm -hmm. um, but you, you, I don't think it's punishing. Hang on, I got to pick off these uh, these mm. these shells real quick. I'll try and get uh, the is that a scallop? Scallop, yeah, that's a good one. Scallop. Oh, no, she's ready to go. Okay, let's see what she wants. So she's working through some stuff, and it seems like um, if, in fact, you two are actually related, uh, there is some stuff maybe with your parents. I think I think you're heading towards a manor. Like it's interesting of... because sometimes she refers to them as like my parents, not yeah. ours, and so like that's where I sometimes wonder if they're trying to be literal with this stuff or not. Yeah, uh, and I'll, I can't remember if they actually reference each other as family. It, it might have just been something uh, I missed as well. So let's just poke around the island here a little bit. Yeah. So you, whenever you go to one of these islands, there's not necessarily a lot of buildings on some of these islands. Like sometimes it's just like you go there, there's resources, maybe there's a spirit or two hanging out. This <laughs> is one of the ones that seems like it actually has stuff going on. Wow, she cusses. Yeah. Which again, when I'm playing with the kids, you know, not a deal breaker, but just mm -hmm. if you if, be aware. It's very light cussing, it seems like. Yeah. Sure. But my daughter loved playing as the cat. There's <laughs> a lot of. I love that you can do that. I think that's. Ah, uh, it's great. It's great. Let's go on in. They basically just follow the lit rooms. Uh, when you're on the map, uh, good to note also, it'll tell you what's left in the, um, on a place you've visited. So if you hover over, it'll be like, this place still has an upgrade, or you can get some uh, oak planks, or or something like that, in case um, in case you've missed something. Oh wow, yeah, this is. I see what they're doing here. Mm. They're not making it easy. <laughs> there we go. There you go. 
There we go. What's up with this guy? This guy. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> I, I have enjoyed the writing. Kind of, yeah. I, I would I would say it's it's a bit similar to uh, Paper Mario. Sure, it's got the, it's got a bit of that vibe to it. Maybe like a little cheeky. Uh, and, and if you're not into that, then it could be. Is there like? A, so there is an upgrade up on the top of the roof, and I'm uh, not sure if you can get to it yet. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can get there yet. Um. Okay. We. No fall damage. <laughs> Doing cat stuff over there. <laughs> I try. <don't, laughs> yes, this guy's just jumping on the roof. No, I don't remember that, but okay. <laughs> and there is a day-night cycle, as you're seeing here. Um, you cannot navigate the boat late at night, but there is like a sleep mechanic if you if you mm. don't want to do other stuff in the middle of the night. I've used a lot of the nighttime for cooking. Just to have dishes ready to give to people when they want them. Have you found like a, a burned food mechanic? Because I've left stuff cooking overnight and it hasn't gone bad. Uh, I have not yet found. I have not yet run into a burned food situation. Okay. Yeah, neither have I. I it might be there. Okay. <laughs> Storm check. I just want to see if I can get into this room over here. Probably not. Probably don't have the key for this yet. Yeah. Okay. I think there's w one little spot down here too. If, uh, okay. I'll follow you. Check out. Hello. Junk. Sick. The cell. Sell that junk. Race you. You're gonna win. The cat is faster. <laughs> the, cat, the cat is faster. All right. It's it's I've uh, I like this game a lot. I do too. It's very like the, I've described it multiple times. It's very cozy, and that's really how it feels. Like mm. for whatever heavy subject matter it might theoretically mm. be dealing with, like everything about it just has a very warm feeling to it. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, like it's, and stuff does get a little serious. There are themes in it that are a little bit serious, uh, but so far in my playthrough, and uh, I'm, I'm, I have maybe two or three more characters than you have. I have no idea how long this game is. Also, yeah, that's the thing. I can't really tell like what the long progression of this is going to be. Because if you look at the size of the boat you can get, it's like maybe eight upgrades, and um, so I have to go to the know. shipwright to do the. The upgrades, right? The ship upgrades, yeah. The shark. Okay, so let's um, let's nap and then let's head over there so you can see what that looks like. Okay. Everyone, go home. <laughs> go to bed. Tappa 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 tappa. I'm just working on stuff in there. That's the, the, the frog guy. The uncle likes banging on things. All right. It is the early morn. Let's get ready to head out on out. Okay. Er, actually, no one's awake yet, so we can just start the boat moving. Ring the bell. Wake him up. So there is some other stuff out here. Like, there's this island, which I haven't been to. There's obviously mm -hmm. something going on over here. There are barriers, so you will hit stuff where... Um, see that, that dotted line? Mm -hmm. Can't go uh, there. there are, yeah, there are certain up ships, ship upgrades you need to get past some of these dotted lines. But if you... Um, oh, the merchant. I'm going to go see the merchant real quick, because he's right there. I'm ringing the bell. Okay, wake him up. Wake up. I think I know what he wants. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, you're not hungry. That's good. I have popcorn, buddy. I can give you that popcorn. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, there's there's some heavy stuff. Yeah, I mean, I guess the thing to re-emphasize re here is that everyone in this game is theoretically dead. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll water your plants while you're talking. Okay. Oh, buddy, he's sad now because he misses his family. Okay. I'll give you my useless objects. Alright, let's see what I got here. Uh, sell. Yeah, I don't need this yet. Hmm. Alright, so I don't have a sockeye salmon. I don't have any poached fruit. Poached fruit's pretty easy if you just want to cook up, um, put some berries in the oven. And okay. Then you'll be able to get that, get that money. I'll do that right now. It's easy. I've got berries. It's easy. And while you do that, I'm gonna water your plants. The this only the... thing I occasionally don't like about this game, and it's it's a very uh -huh. minor complaint, but it is an annoying one, is that sometimes the action button to get in a door is obscured <laughs> by a person or vice versa. Yes. And I yeah, kind of to... wish those were separate. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta find the outline. You gotta, like, kind of wander back and forth to hit the outline of somebody. Yeah. Okay, those berries are cooking. That'll take a minute or so. So yeah. I'm gonna water my shit. What's my mystery gonna be? I just brought up all that junk. Oh, you, you can sell that You can sell that stuff to yeah, the... Yeah, I'm going merchant. to. Good timing. Good timing. Oh, jeez. So I planted garbage. Got it. <laughs> well, let's plant these carrots. And these. Uh, have you learned how to... Yes, I have. <laughs> ...sing to your... ...your plants? I love the singing cat. So when Stella does it, it's with a guitar. Yes, um, yeah, you want to try it? <laughs> what, what's the button for that again? Uh, hold oh, one. I gotta get my berries. Oh, yeah. Berries are burning. Wait, that's not the button. Berries are burning. I'm gonna see if the cat can take stuff out of the, the oven. Uh, uh. You can. <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous, and I love it. <laughs> All right, well, you got your poached fruit. Thank you. Uh, so singing to the plants uh, makes them grow a little faster. Okay, so I can do this one. Sick. I got some glims. That's money. More or less. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, that's that. Oh, wait, I can talk to him. Oh, yeah, you should sell your- you should sell that other junk to him, too. Oh, that's the, the, the ring and stuff. Oh. Yeah, and it'll say right on the bottom of the item, you should just sell this, so it's, yeah. it's pretty- it's pretty clear about that. Let's see if he's hungry. Okay, he's not hungry. Uh, what's going on with Gwen up here? Ah ha ha She doesn't like being woken up early. Well, would you like some food? No, she's full. She's full apple. Okay. All right, so now we can go somewhere else. I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give this guy a little food. All right, where are you headed? I'm gonna, gonna go upgrade, upgrade I'm, the ship. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the quartz dragon, and then I'm gonna go to the ship because that's kind of the okay. path here. And then maybe we'll wrap it after that. So yeah, you're you're gonna cross through the lightning storm mini game. Mm -hmm. It's, I it, it, this? it's an yes, I can. interesting push pull on some of the stuff of keeping everybody fed so you get some of the perks, um, keeping them happy, moving the story along. 
the the thing I'm at now is I need so much money to upgrade my ship. Um, it's a lot. You gotta it's do a lot those of errands. Blimps. I gotta do some more errands, yeah. That's the um, that's the fast travel eventually. Okay, I have not yeah, actually gotten to the fast travel stage of things yet. Yeah, it's like a really weird seal that goes on there. Uh, I want to fish. We'll fish while we're going. The cat's gonna go fish. Ah, cat overboard. Uh, if you fall off the ship, the boat stops. No, oh, that's gonna be very tough for you. Do you need me to come closer? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe a little uh, bit. <laughs> that's oh, you got it. You're nailing it. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, it's time for the lightning. You want to handle that? Yeah. Oops, I did the thing, exactly the thing that, uh, you were just talking about. Oh, I forgot, cat can't talk. If you, if you bail out of that, you'll save the wood there. Okay. I'm on my way! Okay. But, uh, the nice thing here as well is, uh, the both of us can do this, which is nice. So, uh, you catch lightning in a bottle, apparently. We have these, you can see on, uh, the two of us, we have these mm -hmm. orbs. They protect us. Yeah, we just go over these spots here. The fact that the cat gets fried <laughs> by it is really good. Yeah. There's a lot of good. Yeah, there's just a lot of, like, nice touches in this game. Like, it's not, like I said, it's not overly complicated, but, like, it all feels like it works together really well. The, and it should probably go without saying at this point, the animation is just Oh, it's amazing. great. I love the animation. I think the music is really solid. It's just a charmer, man. It's a real charmer. Yeah, with gameplay. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll get the bottom one here. killing it so we should also really quickly say that this is not online co-op it is local uh you are oh, playing yeah. my Good game point. over parsec it is not yeah. a you have signed into my game online thing that's right i, I forget we should we should absolutely say that um uh, because that might not be clear yes this is not online co-op boy so good thing you reminded folks i've completely forgotten to call that out all right all right what is he gonna complain about he probably wants his, uh, his house. Okay, let's see if I can uh, build his spot yet. I am missing some maple planks. Of course. Are those the ones uh, I'm cutting right now? Mm, I don't know if you were cutting oak or, or maple. Let's find out. That's maple. Was maple what I wanted? Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, some of the perks when you go on other islands, the characters should, if they have that perk, uh, uh, gather some extra items for you. Trees and berries and linen thread. At least that's the hope. Oh, I think we're nearing Dragon Zone. Oh, yeah. See, I'm having trouble with this fish here. Come on. Dragon's back. Woo! Caught an eel. All right. So this is another mini game. You run into these dragons in the water every now and again, and this is like a mining resource mini game. Yeah, she really doesn't like the dragon, or she's got some. I don't know what they the have a history. A for. Yeah. So this is a timing-based thing. You hold back, and you want to like let let go at the exact right time. And a cat mine got this. it. Yeah. And the idea is that you are helping this dragon theoretically because this <laughs> is all right. corruption.
I have not found a lot of penalty in this game. No. It's not really about that. Like, if you miss that hit, uh, you'll just do it again. Yeah. And it's not like breathing fire at you or doing any real, like, combat stuff here. No. And you're getting resources. Yep. <laughs> the most important. Cat hit. Let me fix your brain. <laughs> He's like, all right, cool, thanks. Incredible. You do get some repeat dialogue. Uh, like, this, uh, say the same thing when it, uh, happens each time. Okay, so now that we have that, let's bring ourselves over to the old shipwright. Oh, here, I can just grab this on the way. Sure, grab your crate. No crate left behind! Back to my, uh, my wood duties. I'm gonna cook this eel. Do you mind? Go for it. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that just counts as seafood. I'll, I'll see what it says here. Oh yeah, it just counts as a medium fish. Interesting. All right, I'll save it for you. Uh, if you cook uh, sawdust, it turns into coal. Interesting. Yeah, so you want to save that cooked sawdust for uh, your. Uh, Smelting and stuff later. I love to smelt. <laughs> Big time smelter. Okay, so I have that. Can I build the thing yet? No, I see. Oh, more so planks. close. One like one more log, I think I'll get you there. Yeah. I'll plant a, a turn. So you just jump in the water when you see the stuff. And then, uh, I think we got a log. <laughs> now I dive, and so whenever you see those little glowing bits on the water, you just want to dive and grab that. And that should be it, I think, for this zone. And I think that's yeah. enough logs for me to build the thing. Nice. Finish this up. That should be enough. Where are the bees? It's nighttime. Not gonna. Boat cannot move when it is night. So. Where are you gonna put it? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I can't. Put it there. <laughs> I literally um, can't. Can you swap it with her house, like straight up right now? How do oh, I swap? Yeah. Uh, if so, if you're right on top of it, if it takes up the same amount of space and push A, it'll swap. But sometimes it won't if it's um. It's not a perfect swap. So you can go edit right now and just move some stuff around if you think you can Tetris this together. So if you back out um, and then back out again and go to down one to edit. Okay. Yeah, now you can just move stuff around if you think you can find some room. Uh, Which I, I think, think you can. I think I can. Um, let's see here. I move this over here. Stay there for a moment. Take this, put it over here. And then maybe if I move this here. And then take this, put it here. Wait no. You go here for now. You come here, go here. And I think I can put it over here, and then... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I might, I might do it. I'm not saying this is a, the best build, <laughs> but it is... I think it will fit yeah. into this space. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. 
Boom. And then I can go back into edit and I can fix this up a little bit. Just clean it up. Yeah, so I just nudge that over. Nudge this down for now. And then this can just sit right here. Beautiful. Yeah, that's closer. I'll have to redo this again at some point, but for now. I moved all he's your houses. So, he's gonna be so happy. Alright, well he's probably sleeping right now, so. Uh yeah, I think he's down down here. He hasn't noticed, but um he will. Yeah, I gotta water my plants. Do I go water my stuff up there? Yeah, I would love to. Thank you. Back when they say now is not a good time for us. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Sometimes they're just like, I don't want to be touched. Let's skip ahead real quick here. Sleepy time on the boat of the dead. <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasant boat of the dead, yeah. though. Everybody's to, pretty cool. Yeah, everybody's pretty chill. Uh, the, the size of this boat, I can't wait to get the bigger boats. Uh, as I, I've, I will definitely try to keep going with this. Hopefully things don't become tedious. So far they haven't quite yet as they roll out some new progression stuff to keep it interesting. But Yeah, yeah I, I found like playing this in short chunks, I've had a very good time with it. It's like a nice little like, do these errands, run a couple of missions, build some stuff, mm -hmm. kind of kind of loop, and then, you know... I'm done with it after about an hour or so, and then I feel like I'm ready, refreshed to do another another go the next day. Oh wow, he's sleeping in a tank. Okay. <laughs> Sick tank, bro. It's weird, right? Oh, no, man. I mean, yeah. like he's a frog. I get it. He's a frog. You're still inside. You're trapped inside forever. My God. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. Ah! Oh no, cats hate- I, I do love the cat in the water, it just rolls on the ball. Yeah. Also looks completely psychotic while doing it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't want to fall in that water. I'm gonna spin some thread, Whitefish. Good idea. Gotta say, I've enjoyed having you on this, having a little- having a friend along is a- is a nice it's touch. It really is. Like, um, when I played this with my kids, I was like, oh, wow, you can actually kind of split the tasks up in a way that is yeah. kind of nice. Like, it's smartly designed. Yeah, like, some of these clearly are not, um, I don't think you'd want to be necessarily trying to hit these small markers, but it's not, it's not impossible. Mm -hmm. And like, like I said, the game's not punishing. Like, you might not get as much thread out if you don't hit the, right. the marker the right way, but, you know, you'll be okay. I'm role-playing this game. My cat, buddy. Is so good. Even the way she just reels it in, like moves mm -hmm. her feet around, like all oh, very good. All right, we're here. Let's go talk to the shark man. Got a good deal on a boat. He's always got a good deal on a boat. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Crack Dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can see here, there's like five sizes of boat right now. I just have the first upgrade. I could buy another one. Um, does it scroll? Does it go more to the right? Yeah, oh, try maybe. the boat. Oh, yeah, it goes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There's like eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I've got a ways to go still. Um, <laughs> but, I, yeah, you know, I... I mm. 
Ah, oh, so bikes. close. Oh, you just you built that guy's house. Like, you know what? I could just go ahead and uh Bigger boat! Bigger boat! <laughs> Look at Can my you bigger get the next boat. One? No, I can't. Okay. But still, I now have a bigger boat, and that's very exciting. Let's go check out our bigger boat. With more room to stack stuff. Oh yeah. Look at all this. Oh, yeah. Look at all this oh, room God. here. Free space here. I got people wanting to talk to me. Let's see what they want to say. Would you look at that? <laughs> you were. I already caught you. Catching said I. Yeah, I saw you do it. You're lying to me. If oh. it hasn't become apparent by now, I like this game. I do too. I I, I, if you like what you're seeing, I recommend it. I think it's, um, it's not quite, doesn't have the, doesn't feel like it has the amount of plate spinning, or maybe even I would say the, the depth of something like, um, some things like in the Harvest Moon range, uh, but it's, it's got some of it. Like, you're, you're maintaining resources, you are using one resource to build another resource, you're refining some resources. I'm hugging snakes. Uh, you're hugging snakes. Not since a boy in his blob has there been such a hug button. It's a pretty good hug, a hug button. button. I gotta be honest with you. I'm a fan of this hug button. Well, I think with that, uh, that's probably a good enough indication of what you do in this game. Like I said, there are obviously, <laughs> like, there are missions that you are doing for some of these people that, uh, that find their way to your boat. I still don't know if you are ever actually going to deliver anyone to the afterlife, or if this is just <laughs> what you do, you just keep collecting people. But so far, I have not had any complaints about the people that I have been collecting. Oh, tell me about Doug. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, it's zooming in, so you know this is serious. Oh, we can make it zoom out if you want. Make it less serious. <laughs> uh, yeah, while you talk about Doug and about uh, the death of people, I'll just do some fishing, you know? Okay. Like a cat does. Oh. So, like I said, um, I think sometimes stuff does get a little... The, the themes could be a little heavy mm -hmm. if you're like re reading this aloud to your kids as you say as you're playing the game but I mm -hmm. I think that the way it handles that stuff for the most part is pretty damn good and I think that like the tone of it in general is just very nice yeah yes yes I agree I agree all right Alex all right spirit buddy. fairer <laughs> ring that That's bell the spirit fairer bell uh, like I said it is thirty dollars. Uh, on its various platforms. It is on a uh, Xbox Game Pass for PC and Xbox. So if you want to check it out, that might not be a bad way to try it out. Uh, push down an X. Oh, yeah. thanks, bud. Thank you. All right. <laughs> thanks, Alex. I'll catch you later. Bye.